lots of the applicants who put in blind applications in terms of they've not gone out in touch with us, um, they, they don't tend to do as well as the ones that have been in touch with us. And what we can do as programme managers is to help to look at which board will be the best to assess your application. Are you eligible for an ERG um, or would a, a career development award be perhaps a different route to your independence? The best grants have three questions that basically take forward our knowledge of a particular question or area or disease and that will have an equal chance of being successful. They're not linear in the sense that you can't do the second aim until the first aim's data is collected. They're independent and the second aim could be pursued even if the first aim you know, went pear-shaped. One of the most important elements of a good grant is to write simply and coherently for somebody who is a scientist but not in your field to write a grant that can be understood by the entire panel. There'll be people on the panel who only had time to read your abstract. So I think clarity and good structure can really help you sell your research. It's important to at least have data that shows that what you want to do is technically feasible. Preliminary data that I included in my application was data on really new concepts which hadn't been published before and supported my hypothesis and showed that I could undertake the specific techniques that were key to the grant. Because it's a collaborative interdisciplinary project, um, we had collaborative data jointly generated by, by us and our collaborators. We want to see where you see your career going. If your research isn't translatable, that's not a problem, but don't try and crowbar translation in um, just to try and tick a box. I think it's quite important for us in science to think about how our research can impact the community. How would I explain to a regular taxpayer why their tax money should be spent on my work?